When I was a kid, I had no idea I wanted to be a scientist. I thought that science was mostly about learning facts. Actually, science is really creative. When I finally realized I could actually create new knowledge, but also make a wider difference in the world, that was when science really became a massive passion for me and it was genuinely exhilarating. I'm Chris Greening. I'm a professor in microbiology at the Biomedicine Discovery Institute at Monash University. As a microbiologist, uh, we study the single-celled organisms known as microbes. The vast majority of microbes are positive and they're actually really critical for everything we do. So what many people might not realize is that microbes can live for years, even centuries, without conventional organic foods. And so our researchers ask the simple question, how can they do that? Our welfare's discovery is that microbes can live on that. They can take up the tiny amounts of hydrogen and carbon monoxide found in the atmosphere and use that to continually tick over. So this process means that 350 million tonnes of carbon monoxide and hydrogen are removed from the atmosphere every single year, and that in turn regulates climate change, but it also removes toxic gases like carbon monoxide from the atmosphere and counteracts air pollution. Through this research, I became a chief investigator of the organization called Securing Antarctica's Environmental Future. Our mission is to understand how climate will change on the continent, how life will be affected, and then feed that into policy. I'm a first-generation academic. I'm from the LGBT community, and I'm also someone who's not neurotypical. I have ADHD, which can be both the greatest disability and the greatest strength. I found a place in science for me, then that's really me playing to my strengths and relying extensively on wonderful collaborations within and outside our team. To receive the Frank Fenner Prize for Life Sciences of the Year is surreal. I hope that by receiving this prize, people can see that anyone can be a scientist and there's multiple ways that one can make an impact.